my Smasher Pass tier list. These are all things that you have sent to me being like, Mello, if you had a cock, would you put your dick in that? And the answer to those, we will have to find out. We have Hard Smash, Smash Pass, and Hard Pass. Those are our options here for today. They're a mix of a bunch of random shit that you guys ended up sending over. And we're just gonna, yeah, just see what ends up happening. See if we want to screw these or see if we want to say like, boo, you ho get the f**k out of here. Alright, first one up on this list, we have Miss uh, Kurumu, I'm pretty sure. I always say this character's name wrong. She's very beautiful, but I always say it right. Kurumi, excuse me. See? I'm calling it. I'm stupid canonically. And uh, she she is not canonically. She is clock lady. <sighs> I feel a little bit bad about this one. I do not like this character. I don't know very much about this character, but I don't like heterochromia, like, at all at all. It pisses me off more times than not because I think that it's just unnecessary on characters, and I'm an asshole, and I will fully admit I am just a big f***ing just chocolate starfish staring out into the abyss. It's gonna be a pass. It's not one where I'd be like, ew, stop talking to me. I mean, she has boobs. I'll definitely give her a little bit of attention for that, but not exactly my cup of tea here. This right here the majestic spirit we shall ride on his back to the sunset this is legitimately just a giant goat pegasus robot and i'm a little bit concerned by a little bit concerned i mean i'm uh, very concerned about this one <laughs> do i just want to come out and say it oh i don't know if i want to just come out and say it i have two options here i can either be labeled a horse for life or i cannot be labeled a horse for life i don't want to be labeled a horse for life genuinely as beautiful as this creature is i don't think that i'd be able to bang this creature i was on bad dragon last night and i must say having seen some of the stuff that they have on that website i looked at that saw my forearm and was like yeah i'm about to get fisted into the next century because i'm literally gonna be dead and smeared on the fucking concrete and then reincarnated into the next century I don't think I can. This is a beautiful mount. Like, as an actual mount to ride into battle, you would definitely be f***ing up some shit with that. But I don't want this f***ing my shit at all. I think that my hoo-ha would just be obliterated, and I'm not down for that. Monsters, on the other hand, though, I, I like me some monsters. But very specific monsters. So I will out myself as that. You're gonna see me say yes to some things that are gonna make you be like, Girl, no. And I'll just be like, yes. God, yes. Everything about this, yes. Plow my booty so hard, I'll be screaming, yes, yes. But I can't do it for this one. This one's gonna be a hard pass because I think that my booty would just never be the same shape ever again. And I kind of like my booty being the same shape that it honestly is. Blue eyes, white dragon. Not to be confused with blue eyes, ultimate dragon. We have a lot in common, being the fact that we're, we both have blue eyes and uh, he's a dragon and I just say, uh, dragon D's nuts all over your face. I like blue eyes. I don't know if I want to get plowed by blue eyes though. Kaiba, the owner of blue eyes though? Oh baby, I would like give him my absolute f***ing everything. I don't think that I'd be able to smash the dragon though. I don't think I'd want the dragon to smash me for the exact same philosophy as the f***ing horse. I would just never be the same again. I am not the slayer of dragons today. That one is... <sighs> You know what? I'm just gonna pass it, though. We're gonna let her down gently. She's from my childhood, man. Finally, no more dragons. We are here to wolf girl. Absolute f***ing smash. Do you see the pair of titties on this bitch? I don't need to know anything else. Actually, I do need to know other things. I like her, though. She's adorable. I feel like this is a pleasurable smash. Everything about her, she just screams, like, friendship. She screams just like soft and sophisticated. She's got ears. I don't know if she has a tail. If she has a tail, that's a bonus because that way I can have reins when I'm, uh, you know, doing business with her. But she at the very least has ears that are good for head pats. So she's going in hard smash. I like that anime girl. I have no idea who she is, but apparently she's a wolf girl. And you know what? That's good enough for me. I'll a woo to her any day. We got, we got this one. This one has a little bit of some plot between it. So this is not just a building. Apparently, this is the premier tower in Australia, which was inspired by Beyonce's hips. So flat out, we have a goddamn building. This specific building was designed because somebody looked at Beyonce's hips and was like, damn, what if we had that as a giant rod inside of our city? And you know what? I kind of 
with it. Like, in terms of how buildings look, she's kind of sexy. This is a hot building. I've never said that about a building before. I like this building. Okay, this one's gonna require a little bit of some spoiler territory here. If you're a Jujutsu Kaisen fan, close your eyes and go la 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 and maybe avert your eyes. Go look at something sexy. Go look at yourself in the mirror, you sexy bitch. Ooh, woo. I know I would like to do that, but I'm stuck looking at a screen right now. But yes, JJK spoilers in three, two, one. We got our boy here. This is the main dude from Jujutsu Kaisen. So with this, this is him. This is apparently his final form. So we did not see his final form, but his final forms is that he has jacked it so f***ing much that he has four arms now. So that way he has many different options. He hasn't found a girl to put out just yet. So our broski's got all of the different options. We got Felicia, we got Heather, we got Monica, and we got uh, Sangria. I don't know a single bitch named Sangria, but you know what? That's his bitch named Sangria. Um, he's got a lot of eyes in many different places. He's he's holding his rod so that way he can assert dominance. I honestly, I just see the four arms and I just think two on the f***ing cheeks and two on the f***ing titties and I'm sold. Like, I don't even need to know anything else. He looks a little bit like Spider-Man and that's concerning and I don't like that as much, but you know what? It's fine. It works out pretty good. <laughs> I like him though. I think he's cute. Kawaii, one might even say. Crazy, but I like him. I think he's going in hard smash. Absolute f***ing obliterate. I would obliterate him. I would hope that he would obliterate me. Together, we're just gonna end up having an obliteration mess as far as the eye can see. Ooh, God fucking damn it. Are you f- Oh, God. Picture this. You are about to have a session with a man off Tinder. This is your first time meeting. He's cute. He's got a smile on his face. He, uh, he smells nice. He smells like, you know, fruit punch and different things like that. You start getting into the nasty and he just goes, Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I don't think I like that very much. He also is, um, juicy. And I think that it's my job to be juicy, as you know, the lady with the hoo-ha. And I feel a little bit intimidated by him, honestly. I'm gonna put him in Smash. You know why? I think that he'd just be kind of fun to have around. Like, whenever you're thirsty in the middle of activities, because I know that that's a joke that guys always get thirsty in the middle. Like, you could legitimately, if you're having back shots with him, first of all, maybe he has a nice glass booty back there, but you could also just tip his head back, kind of like you pull a girl's hair, and you could just take a giant slurp and then get on with your business. Uh, electrolytes, all that kind of shit. It's great. This one is... <laughs> I don't even know what this is. It's a fucking light switch that I guess you can just be like, Babe, I'm turned on. I got the mood lighting going. For the love of God, come pop on my fucking cock, bitch. He's, um, he's gonna smash. He's not getting a hard smash, but he is gonna get a smash from me. I appreciate him and his work. This is a man with a job, too. And I think that's pretty fucking sexy. So we're going with it. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, God, hang on. This is it. This is the hardest smash in the game. Dog Dimidome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimidome, and we don't even have his fucking hat showing because he's too fucking. <laughs> I need to get his actual hat showing. There we go. There we go. No, oh, it's still not showing. God, God. Okay, come on, Doug. We gotta see you in your full-on glory. There he is. There's our boy. That is peak male performance. Sometimes you can have big dick energy. And big dick energy is having a hat that is at least three miles up in the sky. However, some might view that as small dick energy because you could be overcompensating for something. Doug has big dick energy. And you know how we know that Doug has big dick energy? Doug has a crest on his cock that thing is gilded that thing has won medals and you know how there's a star on it baby that is a man who is not afraid to say my cock right there is the star of the show and if you are able to get these pants off the spurs stay on during sex as does the hat you'll see that my cock goes uh you know horizontally the same way that my hat goes vertically baby look at him too he knows what's up like he knows he's hot shit he's got that stash he's got the style he's got his fucking just like schmolder fucking down hard smash absolutely Absolutely hard smash. I would risk getting cuts all over my legs from his fucking burrs being on. I love him. He is getting an absolute just hard fucking smash. I, that, it's beautiful. This one is a little bit silly goober of me. So somebody ended up putting in 
the USS Missouri. But what I ended up doing is I put in the actual ship because I thought that the actual ship is kind of funnier than the woman attached to the ship. So this is the USS Missouri. I know that she's from an anime game where you have battleships and it's a little bit more uh, sophisticated than the American battleship. Cause you know, we use actual plastic ships. Japan just puts, you know, machinery on women and calls it a day. I feel like banging this girl would just be extremely difficult. She's just gonna be banging all over the place. Like that is some big equipment that she's carrying and usually i want my man to be carrying some big equipment or honestly just equipment in general <laughs> i like her she is cute i am gonna pass on her though but we're gonna gently pass on her because i just don't think oh, this is gonna work out between us oh yeah hard smash absolutely fucking hard smash this man just like God, he has such big dick energy. I love this man. As much as I can love, you know, a PNG on my screen and somebody that I know literally next to nothing about, he's America's sweetheart right now. He is America's dad. We love him. We just want to have our father's approval. Like, if Keanu says that you're beautiful, like, you're obviously f***ing beautiful. And I love him. He's just iconic. Absolute S tier. I can't say anything else about him other than that he's probably a vampire, so he's really good at sucking. And I'm just going to show him what real sucking, honestly, is he hasn't seen nothing yet until he's met me i may be a virgin but i'm overconfident in myself and i will prove that i can give him the sucky sucky that he needs and that he deserves inside of life okay oh man we're gonna get a gift for this one. Oh my lord look at her oh she dripping god i can hear that that's what good pussy sounds like i don't think this works for the reverse all too well though not unless you're gonna take some of this and you know you could either like put it inside of something and then try and utilize it but i don't think that's gonna work that or you could end up putting it inside of the freezer but i think that that's an infection waiting to happen i don't know if i want that inside of me but either way though she's delicious i i would eat her out and like actually eat her afterwards and i like that a lot it's good yes don't listen to me <laughs> i'm gonna put it in smash i think that this works out better if you have a dong as opposed to if you have a hoo-ha but i'm still gonna put her in smash i'm gonna be real with y'all smash absolute smash this thing's tongue is a tongue where one that can get wrapped around the dick and that that's a fucking like oh my that's a game changer right there there's a reason that men like women with long tongues that's all i'm insane same with girls too he is my king he should be wearing a crown i know that slow bro has taken it but i truly think that this pink f fuck honestly deserves it absolute fucking hard smash right up there with keanu they're gonna be the perfect couple together <laughs> Jerma, Jerma. Jerma's already trying to give us the silent treatment here. He's trying to be all alluring. Maybe this is a sign of him, uh, you know, just wanting to be like, hey, Mello, this is, uh, you know, what I'm looking to have done here. Ooh, woo, woo. Jerma seems like a cool dude. I actually have not watched Jerma before, but from everything I have heard about him and from his fan base, he just seems like a cool dude. I would say Smash. I'm not gonna pass him. I don't know almost anything about him, but from everything I have heard, he just seems like a lad, so I appreciate that. Do you know what this motherfucker is after I zoom out a little bit? Ba -ba -ba -ba! Ba -ba -ba -ba! This is one of the only shooting games that I actually like. I am not a shooter. I don't have a dick, and I think that because I don't have a dick, I have zero desire to be able to shoot things because I know that that's just what guys like doing inside of the toilet. They gotta shoot and have their stream hit the exact right spot. And you know, sometimes when you're doing sexy stuff too, you get to just shoot things and you wanna get it in the right spot. I don't have that, so therefore shooting games are not my specialty. However, I love me some Halo. Halo is just iconic. It's such a good franchise. I just, I love that. For, it, it's so good. I, I'm repeating myself because I just am a broken record of how much I love Halo. It's Halo and Borderlands. Halo, Borderlands, and uh, really bad James Bond games. Those are my shooters that I enjoy. Everything else is a... <laughs> but I like it. I really like the Warthog for that. However, it doesn't get a super smash because I actually like the alien machines better. Call me kinky, but I'm just gonna say it how it is. I like the alien machines better. They're purple, they fly, and um, they just do more damage, and I, I applaud them. I think that if I applaud them, then they get to clap my cheeks, and that's all I really want. <laughs> oh my god, we got an actual f***ing hot dog. Behold, the hot dog 
confident, showing his juices, showing that he has actually, you know, been inside of a bun before. This one has arms and legs, which is kind of interesting because they're a little bit thin and I feel like they would probably end up getting hurt along the process, but I guess it depends on how large he is, frankly. I don't think I could f the hot dog though. I was reading the other day that apparently in Mean Girls, there's a joke where somebody was just like, made out with a hot dog. Oh my god, that was one time! Apparently, the actual uh, initial reading of that or writing of that was the, that the person f***ed a hot dog. It was supposed to go, fuck hot dog. It was only one time! But they thought that that was going to be rated R when they wanted their movie to be rated PG-13. So, you know, the cool kids in high school would be able to see it. And I think that that was probably a good decision. <laughs> but it would have been a lot funnier if it was the other way around, honestly. I could not f*** the f***ing dog, though. It's- that's too much. I feel like that is just disease and famine going to come over my way. And I really don't want to be patient zero to start COVID 2.0. I'm gonna pass him, but he's getting passed gently. Oh, yes. Mommy likey. Mommy really likey this next one. Oh, I'm- I'm feeling him. Oh, I wish I was feeling him. Oh, baby. Oh, daddy. This is gonna be the one that gets an actual daddy out of me. Oh, dude, he's called God for a f***ing reason he has surpassed daddy he is now me lord i love him godzilla is so f***ing hot he's made out of radiation and touching him is just going to disintegrate my f***ing hands but you know what i can still then touch him with my nubs until he just has all of me and i'm nothing left but a shell of myself we are the romeo and juliet of the modern era he has a giant lizard man with a schlong the size of the empire state building and i am but a wee virgin anime lass who definitely does not have i'm not a science queen i cannot take that but i love him so fucking much he's so good i love him godzilla is fucking hot and if anybody denies it you're just fucking wrong because he literally is like irradiated and whatnot like this man that this not even man he has gone beyond that he has transcendent or transcendent manhood he is just big lizard and he is hot as fuck like there are people who are just into lizards and there are people who are not and uh i am a lizard lover as is another in my family and that is cursed redacted information inside of the mutinous household but here we are <laughs> i think i added this just because this was a really tasty ass looking sandwich and i was like damn if only i could get myself a woman like that you had a pair of titties to this bitch and oh i have a feeling a lot of people are gonna understand where i'm coming from but honestly this is delicious i love it this is a nice sandwich i'm gonna be honest i think that if you're a lady if you have lady bits this is probably not gonna work out all too well for you but if you have the donga if you got the actual fucking dong energy they got the marby's meat folds inside of there i think you can work with this I myself, I don't think that I would be able to do this. I can appreciate her though. She's pretty. She's like a picture. I like her, but she's going to go and pass for me. You know what? She's going to go and smash because I'm thinking of my bros out there. I think that the bros will be able to understand this. How, um, how you guys feeling about my date? He's, he's pretty cute, right? Um, he's customizable. It's, you know, one of those newfangled AI things where you can just, you Import your your absolute most beautiful man and they'll just create it for you um, I think he's like really cute. He's kind of giving us some side eye and he's got his arms on his hips Which is the bad bitch pose, but I like him. I'm gonna put him in smash I feel like mr. Potato head. He's just too customizable for us to do anything but smash him so overall he's pretty good We got a can of coke not a can of coke a bottle of coke a skinny bottle of coke smash <laughs> I'm gonna smash. I'm saying yes to this strictly on the fact of, um, these are the thin ones. These are the ones that are, you know, possible. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Some of the other ones I think are possible, but only for size queens. I'm a virgin, man. I don't think that I'm fitting that up inside of me. And for the dudes out there, I mean, if you like living a dangerous game, you just gotta smash that bitch against the counter, and it might be, you know, broken glass, and you might have to have a little bit of concern there. But you might be able to still make shit work, so it works. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Um, look at that face. <sighs> think of all the memes. You could actually have a train run on you by just one person. Isn't that incredible? I didn't even think that that was possible, but now it's 
fucking is. Like, if you ever have a girl asking you to go harder, just imagine you have a train that can actually, you know, just slam into the booty. I think we're gonna put him in smash. I was gonna put him in pass, but I think that he deserves a smash, honestly. Like, he's got that energy going. There's a lot of people out there who would say, I don't have enough steam, but like, he's a steam engine. He's got that shit like rolling inside of him he also has conductors so that way you could just ask the conductor to do things for him i think that this works out i think that that's an absolute smash now we're getting into the monster territory clothulu clothulu is a smash anybody who says otherwise no this is absolutely not the case this is a smash right here look at this man he is wet he is grizzled he's got his eyes laser focused i mean if that's me down there holy shit dude he's got tentacles can you imagine having this thing go down on you boy or girl whatever you got inside of your pants that is I iconic like you are going to remember this this is legitimately a story that you're gonna tell your grandkids you're gonna end up nerfing it down a little bit so that way they're not scarred for life but just imagine baby hard smash he's going right up there with godzilla that would be the uh <laughs> that would be an uru type time that is fantastic so i actually don't know about this character at all this is my first time seeing him this was just called bone daddy i like bone daddy i think that he's suave he's sophisticated he's got some interesting shit going on he might be human underneath there i'm not really 100 sure if he's an actual skeleton i don't know what he has going on down there that's gonna interest me like i want to be taken to the bone zone but i want to make sure that when i unzip somebody's pants i'm not being greeted with like a bone pelvis i want to see some flesh on that i don't want to see the actual just pelvis bones there oh he's a shape okay if he's a shapeshifter that's an ultra smash right there anytime that somebody tells you that a, a shapeshifter is not an s tier i'm just saying wrong because shapeshifters can be whatever you want them to be babe they can be anything and they can be yours they can be mine they can be all of ours together <laughs> This one is called the Dimensional Horror from Stellaris, which is beyond fascinating. Apparently, this thing is the size of an entire solar system is what I read. Yeah, they are bigger than a planet for scale. Um, I like the mouth. The mouth is kind of hot. I don't know what's going on inside of there, but I feel like there's some kind of excitement and this is good. The fact that they have a spider body, though, kind of freaks me out. I don't know if I appreciate that. I don't know what spider's dicks look like. I never want to know what spider's dicks look like, frankly. So that might be a no. Plus, if they're a planet, like, what, what am I going to do, honestly? Do I just stand on top of Mount Everest and say, I'm yours, daddy, and just hope that, you know, they hit? Or is it something where they just fly by every once in a while? I don't know. It's ginormous. I'm going to say pass. I think that she's too big. I never thought that I'd see the day where somebody would say she's too big, but uh, an entire planet is a little bit much. But can you imagine this thing? It just pulls out its f***ing cock, and everybody gets all excited that there's another eclipse, and everybody's looking up at the sky, but it's not the moon covering the sun. It's just a giant fucking space creature's dick. That's amazing. That's no moon. It's a cock. I would pay money to see that. That's so f***ing funny man oh i feel like this is gonna be a controversial one oh no nah. um this is the centaur from fallout i have not played fallout before so i don't know very much about this but um usually i have the philosophy of you know the more hands and the more arms the better because you can just have them do different things and overall it just leads to a great experience um this thing looks like it's a raw burger patty that is also just like somehow a chicken nugget and it frightens me it looks like it has worms and i don't really want to get worms inside of me from banging somebody i'm sure that somebody out there in the world has had that happen before and i don't want to be number two man number two is gross it's doo-doo and it deserves to stay in the toilet i don't want that so i'm just gonna say that that is a no that's gonna be in a hard pass you know what it's gonna be in a pass not a complete hard pass but that's gonna be in a pass there look at this man right here he's not even a man this is a b minus the boo variety he got style he got grace he's probably gonna have my liquids all over his face i like him <laughs> i don't actually like him i feel like as a woman i just have to say that i'm into him because that's the plot of b movie he is kind of cute though if he managed to woo an actual human woman with a stinger and whatnot like i don't know i feel like he's got to get some kind of bonus points for that he's too small though we wouldn't be able to do 
Oh, I think we would be able to do something. Oh, he can buzz. Oh, that's all you need as a lady. You know what? Maybe that's all you need as a guy, too. Okay. Um, I can't get too sussy baka with this, but just hear me out. Bees go buzz. They go buzz. What else do ladies like that also goes buzz? I think I just solved the actual mystery of how these two have managed to stay together so long. This is fascinating. I'm gonna play Barry. Barry's going in pass, but I'm just not into bees. I'm so sorry to any bees out there. I just respect you too much, and I don't think that I'd be able to pursue anything from that. There's just too much respect in this bitch, unfortunately. <laughs> Where there's not respect in the can feed me, Seymour. I hate this thing. I hate this movie. The plant likes eating people, but the issue is that he likes eating people rather than eating people out. If he was good with eating people out, then that would be fine. But unfortunately, he cannot be trusted. This is a bro where you'd just be like, you're not gonna bite, right? And then he would end up biting. He'd give you hickeys, and now you're gonna be the embarrassment at the office party. So I'm gonna say no. I know his name's not Seymour, but I just call him Seymour all the time because I can't remember him. He can sing to me but i hate musicals so he's going in a hard pass he could have hired smash but unfortunately the the cards are just not right for us today this one i think was just the perfect shit post the eclipse how do we feel about the eclipse boys do we like her i mean she does look like a hole and if any hole is a goal then i mean it's fine isn't it i kind of like it though like if you really end up looking at this carefully it kind of looks like a big titty like it's just a big illuminated titty where it's round and then we have to censor the nip for twitch and i don't know she's just kind of pretty honestly she's exploding a little bit down there too and that's that's pretty hot i like it it's so beautiful smash i think so too i think so for beauty alone, we should end up just smashing that bad boy. Oh yeah, we got Venom here. I think that Bao, the whale VTuber, said it best where she mentioned, damn, I just want to have him tie my fallopian tubes into a knot. That is the entire reason why girls like this thing. I think that he works out for dick havers too, because then you can end up just, you know, having the tongue get wrapped around and it's just, it's perfect. He's just great for all, all peoples, I guess. You just want to make sure that he doesn't bite. I think that this is one of those where they're very, very hot and it's high risk, high reward because he's very, very good at what he does. But if you make him upset, I think he's going to bite and that's not good. I'm giving him a hard smash though because I think enough people like him. That's beautiful. He's going on hard smash. I feel like I have to. Oh, baby boy. Oh, actual fucking baby boy. We got our broski fucking Minecraft Steve in the house. So this is going to be the great divider. This is going to be something where you might want to smash him. And if you want to smash him, you are in lower age Gen Z. And you have ended up seeing him on the hub too many times. There are other instances, though, where you might just, I guess, be into him, but potentially not. I, I like him. He's a cool character and whatnot. He's got a pickaxe. He can ask me a, a question, and maybe we can just be talking during the date. But... If he can even remove his pants, he's gonna have a brick dick, and I think that that's just gonna hurt. Like, dicks are supposed to be cylinders for a reason, but, like, you know, rounded off cylinders so that way they don't cause pain. This is a f***ing cube going in and out of you. I don't really want a Rubik's Cube going in and out of me. This is just not inside of the cards for your girl Mellow, and I guess that's okay, but we're gonna leave it there. I think potentially if I was different, or if I had different physique, then maybe... But Steve is going by Barry. They'll be able to have a good time together instead. This is our boy Injustice. I know nothing about him, but I want to know stuff about him. He looks scary, and I have a thing for monsters. So if he was under my bed, I would pull him out, and I would just put him on top of my bed. That would be the time when the pajama pants are coming off. Or better yet, if he wants to keep them on and just rip a hole in them, I don't f***ing give a shit. This man like, I just look at him and I know that he fucks. Look at those eyes, man. They are filled with determination. I played Undertale. I know what that shit can do. It's great. He's gonna get a, a smash. I don't know very much about him, so he's not gonna get hard smash, but he is gonna get a smash. I feel like he's just, he's cool. We like him. I have no fucking idea who this is. Does anybody know who this is? Has anybody lost their father inside of the Bass Pro Isles again? We found him over by the women's section, and we have very, very many questions. Maybe, if anything, we found him over by the boat section, because that would be more, I guess, accurate, probably. Mm, mateys, come on aboard! 
Oh, Monster University? I have not seen Monster University. I would have no idea who this is. Is he nice? Is he an actual Dilf? Are we gonna go Dilf, Dilf, Dilf? Do we want that Dilf dick tonight? A lot of the time, Dilf dick is probably good dick. All right, you know what? I'm also going tentacles, Nuff said. He's not gonna get hard smash for me, but we are gonna smash him. He's got tentacles, he's got a mustache. He seems like a lad. He seems like he would just give really fucking good hugs. And you know what? After all of this chaos, I feel like I'd be down for a really good hug. Smash, Mr. Dad Man. Mr. Dad Man is gonna be our dad for the day. We got sent an actual, I can't believe it's not Butter Tub. I don't know why this was a submission. I feel like this has to be one for the boys, though. I don't think as a woman you're gonna be able to do a whole lot. Like, if you got a hoo-ha, this is not for you, unfortunately. I'm gonna say pass to the I can't believe it's not Butter. Oh, it's me! Oh god, somebody put down the submission just, uh, yourself, so I ended up putting down, uh, <laughs> me. <laughs> um, I, I have two different answers for this question. I actually have a lot of different answers to this question. My model, absolute f***ing obliterate hard smash. Dude, she's so f***ing hot, it's not even f***ing funny. I love my model. She is so sex to me. She is magnificent. Like, every single aspect about her is just made to be dicks down, and I love that. I love that so f***ing much. Dude, all the outfits, all the everything. I just, like, the, the f***ing hips, man. It's crazy. Look at those shorts. God, it's beautiful. And I got so many different ways that I can be looking for you, broski. I'm adorable. I can't even help it. It's just absolutely adorable. This one even has a butt flap. Like, do you know the things you can do with a f***ing butt flap? Incredible. So, me likey. Me thinky, me cutie. Yes, that's narcissistic of me, but I would hope that I would think that me cutie, considering this, this is something that is my representation of myself, so... <laughs> We hope that that ends up working. But nah, I love my model. That one's an absolute hide f***ing smash. IRL Mellow would be an interesting one. I like myself. I like my IRL self. I think I got a whack personality, and it's definitely one where if you like me, you're probably gonna really like me. If you don't like me, you're probably really gonna not like me. Nothing wrong with that. I don't know if I'd be able to survive with myself, though. I think I probably would, because overall, I'm pretty f***ing chill. We'd have a wild time, though. Holy f***. I uh, I don't think that I would pass myself. I would put myself inside of the smash zone. I'm not gonna hard smash unless we're gonna put it inside of the model, but I feel like when you mix the model with the personality, I gotta take it down at least one tier because I know that I'm a divisive character here. Killdozer! Yes, absolute f***ing smash. For anybody who doesn't know the story behind the Killdozer, I can't give the full-on bits, but to give you the spark notes on just, like, what ended up happening, there's a dude who got f***ed by i think either the government or by his state and he ended up getting pissed off and created the killdozer where he just like <laughs> went around destroying shit and then unfortunately ended up not being alive after everything was over and it's just the craziest story ever and i feel really bad about the situation but it's just like it's crazy he just built himself a killdozer all right killdozer hard smash i'm glad that the people agree on that one too oh gross oh Oh no, round meal. Can somebody tell me, is this actually real? I don't know the lore behind this f***er. I just saw this and I was like, this cannot be real. But I think that this actually could be real at the same time. Is this real? Why are you saying hard smash? Please stop. I don't like this. Enough people said smash. I'm gonna put it in smash, but it's staying inside of smash. She, she ain't going farther than that. Any farther and that's just dangerous waters out there. We don't want to get our balls bitten off by a shark today. Um, this is Kirby after he's turned like 4,090 or whatever the fuck. Kirby canonically to me is 45 years old and I do feel like this is just 4K definition Kirby. I hate this. This is a pass for me. I like actual Kirby because actual Kirby is, you know, cute and I could just squish him between my boobies and he just look like I have a third titty. This is down atrocious. This is not good. The feet are just too veiny. He doesn't have arms. I don't know if he's gonna be able to use his arms to just like flap around or do something, but I think that you would have to like hold him and skull him and I don't want to do that. That that makes me feel icky and I'm gonna say no. I think that's going in hard pass for me. I cannot deal with that shit. That's just too much. All right, we got one D small. Do we have any fairly odd parent watchers out there? I loved this show when I was a kid. My brother and I used to watch it all the 
same time together and it was fantastic but i hated timmy because timmy was a little like chode and i hated him so yeah it's one this small he's spicy he just seems like a cool dude overall he's a little bit too obsessive at times but you know what if you like your yandere girlfriends you're just gonna end up having your you know suave fairy dude and i kind of like it i'm gonna put him in smash i think that he can be in smash i wouldn't put him any further than that spot inside of smash but we're gonna go there i think that that works out fine hades is my boy he's another ancient greek god look at him giving us that an eye. Ooh, whoa. I like Hades. I like Hades inside of Hercules. I like a lot of the characters in Hercules. Who is it? Meg? Meg is one of the hottest characters to ever exist inside of a Disney show. Like, god damn, she's so fucking hot, man. He's going on Smash, though. I'm not gonna hide Smash again, but he is definitely going inside of Smash there. He's pretty cute, not gonna lie. Oh, f This is, a uh, COD dude, isn't it? Oh, my thoughts on this, man. All right. I don't actually know anything about him. I just know that he is from COD. I'm going to say no because I just don't... It, it doesn't work for me. Maybe for other individuals it will. You guys are saying Smash. We'll put him inside of Smash there, but... I don't think I can put him any higher than that. Smash. I don't know who this is, but Smash. This is a businesswoman. She has a tail. Absolute Smash. She looks so tired of my shit. Smash. <laughs> I want this. I want all of this. Women in suits are hot. She's wearing gloves for protection so that way we can hold hands and not be sitting in the eyes of the Lord. Oh my God. She has a notepad and it's probably just writing down all the reasons that she loves me. Oh, I love her. She has her hair all nice and curled up like the good old girls from the 1940s. She has glasses. Oh, I also can wear glasses, bitch. She's horny. She even displays her horniness on top of her head. That's so fucking hot. She's beautiful. I just, I can't get over that she looks tired of my shit. That's when I know that I've met the perfect woman. When she's a bitch and she's tired of my shit. That's all I want inside of a partner, man. She's awesome. Her name is Monica. She's the best. I love her. <laughs> I was about to make a Bill Clinton joke because if she is Monica, she could be hiding underneath my business desk any day. Ooh, will. I'll even get fired for that. I don't even care she's worth it man she's going in hard smash there we go i wanted to make sure i could put her in there this this is an airplane i don't know anything else about it but that is definitely 100 an airplane he could definitely send you to soaring heights maybe your heart would be able to just go up high he could show you the world maybe sing like aladdin and it could be pretty snazzy i think he's a little too large for me though and i'm not exactly afraid of flying necessarily but i'm also afraid of flying a little bit so i think that i would live in perpetual fear of our relationship and something tells me that that's just not a healthy partner to have so i'm gonna say no why are all of you trying to smash the airplane where can you even put your fucking cock in there in the pit <laughs> stop <laughs> Cockpit. God damn it. Okay, just for the fucking cockpit, Joe, it's going in smash. I don't think I'd be able to smash it. I appreciate that it has a cockpit, but I don't have a cock, so unfortunately the pit doesn't do a whole lot for me, but she's pretty cute there. All right, hear me out. This is a thick woman inside of like a bunny costume, but the wrong bunny costume. You called your wife and you said, babe, I'd have the biggest boner the city has ever seen if you would just go to the store and get yourself a bunny girl costume. And she went to the store, but she unfortunately went to the wrong store and ended up coming out looking like this. And you have the most confused boner of your entire life, but you sit there and you're just like, that's my wife. But you're also just sitting there being like, but I'm not a furry. But when you squint your eyes just a little bit, it starts to not look like a bunny, and it starts to just look like a thick woman, and I feel like this one, you can't qualify this one as a furry. This one gets, like, the actual furry pass, where if you're into it, I just understand it. This is just a furry woman, and that's fine. There are people out there who like furry women. She looks bougie. She's definitely classy. I feel like behind the f***ing giant ears, she's got an ass that, like, would sail a thousand ships, man. Absolutely bougie. I'm saying smash. I'm saying hard smash. How can you not man it's a fucking bunny girl people kill to try and be with bunny girls like people kill to be bunny girls <gasps> oh my god it's time it's finally fucking time i have to scroll diligently excitedly my finger is quaking as i try and reach to the stars and finds the specific thing that i am looking for oh my god oh my god do you know what this is 
This is a tardigrade. This is a little tardigrade. He's so cute. I love him. He's just so good. I love him so much. Wood. Absolutely wood. I know that I'm a crazy person. I would smash this thing. Look at this thing's arms. It has so many arms. It can just give you the biggest hug of all time. Look at its little, like, doot doot. Just going doot doot. Imagine that inside of you. Imagine that on your cock. Just imagine. I love him. He can also survive up and out in space. Like, Aladdin can only take you around the world in his magic carpet. The f***ing Tidegrade can send you out to the f***ing stars, man. I want him. I love him. He's so f***ing cute. I just want to give him the biggest hug ever. He can survive anything. Guys, he can survive anything. Think of all the wild nights you can have. Please tell me I'm not alone in this. Please tell me I'm not crazy because I f***ing would, man. He's so f***ing cute. See, I just want to give it a hug. He's cute, but I do want to smash it at the same time. I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> Sorry, that's the evil mellow laugh coming at. You know who's not big enough for me? This f***er. I hate this f***er. I hate this movie so f***ing much. I remember watching this as a child and just being like, God has abandoned us as humans because we ended up creating such an abomination that he just wanted to turn the other cheek, but except for he didn't stop just turning the other cheek. He literally just turned himself in a 180 direction and ended up going into another f***ing universe because he was so done with this one. Several rants about Madagascar later. So I don't think that this is a good movie. I hate this character. If you like it, that's completely okay. I don't mean to take a dookie on your childhood. I just hate it. Hard pass. The hardest pass I possibly can. Absolutely revolting, and I do not like it at all. Man, we still have so many different submissions. We just don't have enough time. I'm gonna go through and pick out a couple submissions that are just like the real silly goober ones and go. <laughs> How we feel about them. I'm fine with ugly bastards, though. I will out myself as being somebody who is honestly fine with them. They're going in Smash for me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I how we feel about fish, bro. I gotta like fish, bro. Fish, bro's kinda hot. Um, he's my two favorite things, man and fish. I love fish. And I'm about to f***ing prove it by throwing it inside of Smash. Oh, man. I don't have a big picture of this one. There's, um, a shark with titties that I'm also gonna put in a smash because, like, that's the two greatest things. It's fear and tits. You get the excitement of both, and I feel like that's just the greatest thing that one could ever experience. And then we have Astolfo as a tank. He's gonna get a pass. He gets an absolute S tier for being funny as shit, but I think that when he blows his load, I would just be blown open, and I don't think that I could handle that. That's a little bit too much for me. But yay! We actually managed to go through it, so yeah! I smashed a lot more than I passed, which is kind of impressive. I knew that that was gonna happen. I'm the town whore. Goodbye. See you later. Sayonara. Mwah. All right, now you actually get the good night sleepies. Okay, peace out, homies. Actual peace out, homies.